Greetings to you. This is Brandon the Freight Broker with Alliance Logistics, and I hope this message finds you in the best of health and spirit on another beautiful Monday morning that we've been blessed to see. I want to thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. I understand that your time is very valuable, so we're going to get into the business of things this morning, and our topic today is an update to a video that we put out in December 2015, two videos in December as a matter of fact, and the titles of those videos were Building a Successful Freight Brokerage Business and Building a Multi-Million Dollar Freight Broker Business. And we want to come back today, almost two years later, and provide an update to those particular videos. Because if someone says they're building a multi-million dollar freight brokerage um, at a space in time, then, you know, after some time has passed, it's, you know, it's only natural to come back and update and tell your audience where you are now in the process. Uh, because we do understand building a business is a process. Uh, so the whole purpose of this video is just to give you an update in regards to where we are in that process. A whole lot has changed since December 2015. Um, when we first came in this, in this business, it was all about finding our way absorbing as much knowledge as possible so that we'll be able to service our customers. Uh, we talked also about having overhead less than $1,000. That has definitely changed. It's probably double that now uh, when it comes down to our overhead. And the reason for that is because our systems have changed. Um, you know, there are different systems that you're gonna have in place to be able to run and operate your business efficiently and those systems are going to evolve over time. You're gonna get systems that are gonna be more expensive. Your insurance may increase. You know, some customers are gonna require that you have different insurances. So um, that one th having uh, a overhead of $1,000, that is just, of course, to start out. And as you grow, as your business grows, you're going to have more costs. You know, your costs will increase, but of course, your revenue will increase to support the cost increase. Uh, so that's kind of what we wanted to give you today is where we are in the process, where we're going uh, with our business. Now, when it comes down to revenue, that's a big question that we get often. How much can a freight brokerage make uh, in its first year, first couple of years of business? And the question to that is, I don't know. I can tell you how much Alliance Logistics made. So we're a transparent company. When we first started out, we were talking about building a successful freight broker business. So what is successful? You know, what it, you know, when it comes down to it, what do we mean when we say successful? Well, to me, in order to be able, in order to um, have success or to say that your business is successful, of course, it has to start out at a certain place and it has to get better over time. It has to continue to get better day in and day out, month in, month out, year after year. And when we first started in this business, we started from zero. Um, we were making zero dollars in an online business, in a freight brokerage business, third party logistics industry. We were making zero dollars in 2014. 2015, we came in and we started to build Alliance Logistics from the ground up, from absolutely nothing, from just an idea in our, idea in our minds to now it's a fully functional third-party logistics company, a freight broker-based third-party logistics company. And again, we started at zero. Our first year in business, we made $59,000. And we looked at that. You know, when you look at it, you go from zero dollars of online income, a work from home business, zero dollars. And in your first year, you make fifty nine thousand dollars in revenue. Now, I don't know about you, but for, for me, in my opinion, that is a huge success, because what we know is, is if you can make ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars or whatever it may be then that means that you have a blueprint in, in place to make even more money if that's what you desire to do 
And of course, it's not just about money, it's about building a successful business. Um, and that's very important. So $59,000 in 2015. 2016, just recently um, met with our CPA, did, what, did our taxes and got everything done. And from 2015 to 2016, we doubled or more than doubled our revenue. Uh, we made over $130,000 in 2016. So when you look at those numbers, your first year in business as a freight broker, we did 59000 And in my second year of business as a freight broker, I did 130000 over 130000 132000 So when we look at that, a person that goes from zero to 59 to 132,000, then you can clearly see that there's a plan in place to move a business from a startup to, to have that business to where it's starting to produce income, to have that business to where it's doubling the income that it is producing. So that would say that there are some things being done correctly within that organization when we just look at it based off of the numbers, based off of the revenue it produces. And we know that a business cannot survive if it does not earn money. You know, that's just the bottom line. No business can survive if it does not make money. You know, so um, one thing is for certain. We have a plan. We have a system in place that allows for us to move a business from zero to 130000 Now, the, the video that I'm updating today is building a successful freight brokerage or building a multi-million dollar freight brokerage. And as you know, you don't make a million dollars overnight. Now, of course, there have been some dot-com companies that came in and they made millions pretty quickly. But that is a very, very small percentage of millionaires that make money quickly. You know, we're not interested in making money overnight. You know, becoming millionaires overnight because we understand that it is a process. But what you can definitely do is take a person's or a company's numbers and look at those numbers and see for yourself whether progress is being made. And I think that we can all agree 59 to 130, zero to 59 to 130 is a significant increase. Uh, so there would have to be some things don't, done right in order to get there. One of the other things that I want to discuss is that has changed with us is uh, at first we were just a brokerage that didn't have any agents uh, because we were under the belief and still am still you know we were still under the belief that when you come into this business it's not about bringing agents on first. First, it's about you learning your craft as a freight broker, as a owner of a third party logistics company, you learning what it is that you're doing so that you'll be able to teach someone else. But uh, if, you, if you're not moving loads consistently, then it is going to be difficult to teach someone else how to do something if you haven't done it yourself already. So at least for, for us, that's, how, that's the way that we see it. I wanna be able to do something and know that it works and then bring it to you, bring the model to you. So you can look at it, take a look at it and see if it, could, if it would be something that you would be interested in because it definitely works. There's no two ways about that. Um, so that is what we wanted to share with you this morning. If you're interested in building a freight broker or freight agent business and you understand the process, you understand that things take time, and you're willing to commit and dedicate and sacrifice the time to get you to where it is that you want to go. Uh, if you want to build from a successful model in an industry where you can absolutely change your financial future, you can uh, definitely achieve financial freedom through this business. If you're looking for something like that and you want to look into an opportunity that could change your life, then I would definitely say look into the third party logistics industry, the freight broker based third party logistics industry where you can be a freight broker or a freight agent. 
uh, and we've talked about the differences with, with those on several different videos. If you have any questions about that, just give us a buzz and we'll uh, uh, let you know how that works. Um, again, our website is www.training.alliancelogistics.net and we can be reached at 470-427-2711 extension 101. I want to leave you with something. This is a quote by a lady named Marilyn Ferguson. And if I remember correctly, it goes to something like this. It says, no one, can no one can persuade another to change. Each of us guards a gate of change that can only be opened from the inside. We cannot open the gate of another either by argument or emotional appeal. End quote. So basically what that saying is, is I have a gate of change within me that I guard. And if I want to change, I have to open that gate of change. Same for you. If you've been working on a job and you have aspirations of opening your own company, being successful at something that is that you produce with your thoughts, your hands, your work, if you want to do something like that, then in order for you to change, you have to go inside yourself and say that I'm willing to change and start to move toward change. No one can do that for you. You know, it doesn't matter how hard they try, how hard they try and appeal to you, emotion, your emotions or, you know, talk to you over and over again. That, you know, you know it's good to hear that, but it does not make you change. The only person that can move you toward change that wants that can change that can actually click the button and tell you hey it's time to change the only person that can do that is you so if you're ready to change go to www.training.alliancelogistics.net and take a look at our training packages there uh, also our number 470-427-2711 extension 101 I want to thank you so much for your time this morning. You have a wonderful and productive day. And always remember, keep your goals in front of you. It is April now. January, February, March, April, that's four months into the new year. We have eight additional months to go. Where are you in achieving the goals that you set at the beginning of the year? Where are you in that? Have to know your numbers. Know your statistics. Know your numbers like people know the numbers that the different players have in the, uh, in the sports world. They can call those numbers off just like that. You need to be able to call your numbers off. And when you can know your numbers, then you can improve on your numbers. But if you don't know them, it's hard to improve on something you don't know. Have a great day. Thank you so much for your time.